is going on guys it is fatal reaver day bringing you guys a new video we are on the hp pavilion gaming laptop be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as always again we are on the hp pavilion here and we're doing a test here and i like doing games like this uh you know older type games because i think it's it, it sends a good message on still how well the laptop holds up and can virtually play just about any game out there uh as of right now there are a few games with higher better higher quality settings that it, you probably have to play on low but you can still not you know nevertheless play the game so this is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare now Advanced Warfare is a pretty old game and I couldn't even get into an online match I had to do a private match but it still gets the point across I just wanted to show you you know how good the pavilion still holds up to games old games and new games so here we are on the Advanced Warfare uh, I did undervolt my laptop so the CPU temps should be pretty much Normal, and that that is on charger as well. So the, those elevated temps you see to the 70s or 80s, that's even that's with on the charger. After the undervolt, it was successful. I plan to do a video on that, how to undervolt it, and it will get your CPU temps down where they need to be, lower, and you shouldn't have any more high temps even when you're playing on the charger. Again, though, if you are getting like 90s, 80s on charger, that's not you know uncommon. That's a very normal thing, especially when you're playing on the charger. So no need to worry about that. That being said, I do have Warzone on, it, or not Warzone, excuse me, Advanced Warfare on uh, the, not the max max settings at the very beginning of this video, uh, but close to max settings. I turned a little things down like shadows and uh, got 91 FPS with no issues, jumped around, you know, did some shooting, stuff like that. Did a lot of movement. I did uh, move the, vol uh, the settings to extra and to high everything here later in the video. Uh, towards the end of it and we still got a constant 91 fps so game and what i look for mainly when i play these games and do these tests is how smooth the gameplay and of course the gameplay was smooth this could be had no issues running it so another game in the bag for the hp pavilion to show you guys it once again plays just about any game that i've tested and had almost virtually no issues with it that being said guys be sure to hit the like and subscribe button as always i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching